What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. And today, we got a 2018 Ford Raptor. So this is one of my dream trucks. I finally got my hands on and we're gonna do a little review on it. So without talking too much, let's show you guys some cinematic stuff. Alright guys, and now, let's do a little walk around, check the outside of the truck, check the inside, and then we're gonna take it for a drive. So let's get it. So here is the truck. It looks so beautiful. It's the 2018 Ford Raptor, like I said. It is in this beautiful white. It also has the option of the vinyl, as you can see where it says Raptor right there. And that's about a $900 option. Just look how aggressive the front end is. You got these three lights right here. One, two, three. And what I love about it the most is these headlights, how they go like this. And then you got the LEDs. Also, these lights were aftermarket, by the way. There was nothing here, it was empty, and they, uh, the owner put the aftermarket lights. You also have these two hooks right here, in case somebody gotta pull you out, which I doubt it, because this truck would be used to pull everyone else out. And also, you got these hood vents right here, and then you got the vinyl right here. So as we move to the side, it is sitting on these beautiful 17 inch wheels. Obviously you could do a lot better once you go aftermarket wheels because there's a lot of aftermarket wheels for this truck and almost every aftermarket wheel looks good on this truck because this truck is just so beautiful as it sits. Little wheels would make this thing look so different. Also you got these vents right here and I believe they are functional. Yep, they are functional vents. And then you got the little step right here. It stays out the whole time so it doesn't go back in and back out. That's just one thing that I don't like about it is because it just always stays up. It also has the button locks, which I think these two lock it. Yep. Oops. Well, I have the keys, so. But these last two lock it, and then you have your own pattern to unlock it. It has regular size mirrors, not the towing mirrors. So let's go to the back real quick. Like I told you guys, it has the Ford Raptor vinyl and then the back. The reason I love the back is because these tail lights. They're tail lights, right? They're cool tail lights, but what they did is they indented it in the truck. Like the panel is all like that so things like that make a huge difference so let's move to the back now f-150 ford and then it says raptor right here and then you got your exhaust tips tow hook and you also have these leds right here and then blind spot radar you also got this cover right here let me open this for you guys Look at that. That's pretty cool. So, you got this. I am really not sure what this is. I think it's a seat. I don't know. But I know it comes with a truck. I want to pull it out for you guys. Or actually, no, it's not a seat, actually. So, basically, this would block this off, I believe. That's just uh, what I think. And it also has, a, I believe, a toolbox right there. And then, I don't know how you would open this. This is kind of cool. I'm very curious to know how you would open it. So check out this other cool thing they got here. So there's a button right here. Open it. So you step on this to get in the truck. So that's a pretty cool option. But I'm really curious to know what these are for. These. I'm really, really curious to know what they're used for. But like I said, I think they're used... To block this off it gotta be it gotta be used for that that gotta be let me know in the comments what these are used for honestly because I've never seen them in any truck before but let's close them let's close the tailgate let me know what you guys think of this truck so far also the sticker price on this truck was $72,000 do you guys think it's worth it for this truck to be 72,000 would you guys pay $72,000 as of right now 
We're gonna show you guys the inside and then we're gonna go for a drive. As far as right now, just by looking at it, showing you guys all the features from the exterior, would you pay $72,000 for it? If you won't pay $72,000 for it, keep watching and hopefully I could change your mind. And now, let's step to the interior. All right, so here is, um, this is all plastic. You got leather with orange stitching, more plastic. I'm not sure what this is or what they're trying to do, the brown and orange. It's not working out for me, I don't like it. I don't like it. You got your seat savers right here, all the controls right here. And here, you got Ford Performance. Then you got these beautiful seats. Leather right here, Raptor, orange stitching, a little bit of orange on the side. I kind of dig these seats. What do you guys think? You guys like them? I like them. I think I, think I like them. Now we step to the inside. It's a huge jump when you jump in here. So you got the leather steering wheel. It's very sporty, look at that. Look at that. This is what you see in a sports car. This truck has it. Also, look what, look what we got here. Paddle shifters, huge paddle shifters. These aren't just little paddle shifters. My Mustang doesn't have paddle shifters this big. And this truck has it. Also, you got more of that orange stitching that goes all around. You also got the orange all the way down here with leather pretty much everywhere. You got your USB ports. I don't know what you would put here. Maybe your phone? I don't know. You got your cup holders. You got space right here as well. Plenty of space right here. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. More of that beautiful leather and orange it looks just so good check out this next cool option Ooh, ready ah you got the panoramic sunroof oh, we gotta open it a little more so it opens all the way to here and then the shade opens all the way it definitely brings a lot more light in here and it feels a lot more spacious not that it feels small it just feels a lot more spacious with this beautiful panoramic sunroof. I love it. This option has been one of my favorite options, especially now that they put it in trucks. My Ram has it, this F-150 has it. Awesome option. So now let's turn the truck on and go through the entertainment system. So tough right there. You got 140 on the dash. Here, you got all your controls. Fuel, truck info, towing, off-road. So it has, let's see. You can definitely put it in off-road mode. Let's get back here. This is one thing that I absolutely hate. Look how just plain this looks. Like, I don't know why Ford hasn't changed their little entertainment system. But they definitely need to because it just looks so plain and boring. Don't like that. You got your off-road stuff, traction off. All your controls are here. It looks pretty cool. You could also, I think, close this. So everything looks really, really, really cool. Also, you got your trailer backup system right here. All your controls right here. Pretty much has everything you possibly need in a truck. I mean, it's not really missing anything. More of the orange stitching over here. The beautiful steering wheel, like I mentioned. This truck has been amazing so far. I hope. I'm changing your mind about this truck. So now let's check out the back seat. All right, let's see. Voila, look at that beautiful interior. The orange and the black leather looks just so good. Let's see if there's enough space for us. Well, look at that, look how much space we got. A lot of space, I could literally stretch my entire feet out. Look, you even got leather all behind this front seat. Let's see what you got here. You got your USBs. Oh, you got your plug right there. Another one. Heated seats. And a lot of space. Hmm, I'm starting to like this truck. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the truck so far? We still got the test drive to go through, but so far, I'm loving this truck. I don't know about the price. But maybe the drive can change my mind. So let's go ahead and do that. And now let's take it for a test drive. Of course, safety is always first. Right. 
So first impression, like first, first, first impression is it feels like I'm in a tank, like literally a tank. Like I ruled the road type of thing. Like I, I've been in my truck obviously and it doesn't feel like this truck because it feels a lot higher. And also something about this truck that just makes you feel like you're kind of like the king of the road. And I'm not over exaggerating when I say that. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but this truck just feels like you're the king of the road. But look at that. Like you're sitting higher than everybody. That's a Jeep and I could probably climb over the Jeep. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. And it's pretty fast actually. It's not a slow truck. So now let's get into what matters most to most people. And that's the numbers. This is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, breaking 450 horsepower and 610 pound feet of torque. So those are the numbers most people care for. They love the horsepower numbers, but there's another number we can't forget about. And that's the price. $72,000 the way it sits. Literally, at the dealership for $72,000 is what the owner paid. Do you guys think it's worth it? Now that I've talked about it, so let's run through a few things about it. The way it looks, amazing. The way it drives, um, it's not the most comfortable truck because you kind of feel like there's a little bit of vibration, a little bit like the camera's like vibrating a little bit and it's not the most smooth ride you know like my truck for example it's not an off-road truck so it rides a lot smoother maybe because this is an off-road uh truck but it's still meant for people to drive it on the road you know i don't think they made it strictly for off-roading um the drive is okay it's 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 a little bit of a rough ride but that's fine because you feel like you're the king of the road and you get that amazing feeling when you're driving like you're just bigger and taller than everyone and that's kind of the feeling people want most of the time when they get a truck like this and also the seats are very comfortable honestly I, I have no complaints about it so overall I love this truck no complaints besides the ride is not as smooth as it should be it looks mean it looks aggressive it drives mean and it drives aggressive this is what this truck is all about I guess it's not meant to be the most comfortable ride because it's not a Mercedes it's a Ford Raptor so with that being said do I think it's worth $70,000 I think it is I've had so much fun driving this truck and um, I love it I think I might go get one now all right guys and that's my time with this truck I don't want to give it back I love it I want to go buy one now if I didn't have a truck this would be the truck to get. I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you are subscribed to show your support. And I appreciate every single one of you guys who choose to subscribe to the channel. And make sure you also follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat. It's right there in the corner. And now, it's time to let you guys go. I'll miss you guys, but I'll see you guys on the next upload. Peace out. Woo!